Three children were stabbed outside a primary school in Dublin, Ireland, with one five-year-old girl still fighting for her life. And naturally, the political establishment and the media were more outraged about what happened later that night. News reports suggested the knife man was an Algerian national. The fact that the BBC and others rushed to tamp down by asserting that he was an Irish citizen. Right, so he'd been given a piece of paper then. And that he'd been in the country for 20 years. Right. So, an immigrant then. So wait, this was supposedly one of the well-integrated ones. Doesn't that make it even more concerning? No matter, because the same media and political class that took a knee and genuflected before months and months of violent BLM rioting suddenly developed a collective disdain for rioting. Apparently Irish lives don't matter. Vehicles were torched, fireworks whizzed through the cold night air as irate mobs expressed their rage at the stabbings. Maybe they should have reacted to the stabbing of five-year-old children by just all holding hands and wistfully singing Don't Look Back in Anger instead. No doubt criminal opportunist exploited the anger to cause bedlam. <laughs> But the media immediately denounced everyone involved as far right. Because apparently being displeased about little kids being stabbed in broad daylight makes you far right. Guess this looter was far right too then. Guess these guys were far right too. Three Irish kids stabbed today and you're not even robbing the place. Well, I use all doctors and engineers. There you say, folks. Look who's robbing the clothes. Don't get in my face. It's Black Friday sale season and I found a gem you've got to take a look at. Check this out. Ever dreamt of having your own starry night right in Inside your room, we'll get ready to explore the amazing Galaxy Projector with me. It's literally like magic. The Galaxy Projector isn't just a lie, it transforms your room into an enchanting planetarium, seamless, colourful projections and stars too many to count. And Galaxy Lamp's Black Friday sale is already on. It's not just about looks though, it's smart too. Let's take a look. Ready for the cool part? It's colours, brightness, rotation speed and timers are all in your control. Just tap on your phone and voila! With its user-friendly app, you can tweak everything to match your mood. It's customization at its best. Love using Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant? Well, the Galaxy Projector is on your team. Just say the word and it obeys from switching on to changing modes. Complete hands-free magic. And guess what? It's energy efficient too. Enjoy your personal galaxy without worrying about your electricity bill skyrocketing. For the tech enthusiasts out there, this one's specially for you. The Galaxy Projector isn't just a gadget, it's a modern masterpiece with a classic charm. Perfect for any room, any vibe. But the clock's ticking on Galaxy Lamp's grandest Black Friday sale. So swing by Galaxy Lamp store because it's now or never to secure the Galaxy Projector at an unprecedented price. The media then quickly vilified absolutely everyone involved, as if they were worse than the cretin who stabbed the little boys and girls. The Irish press was infinitely more outraged over the fiery but mostly peaceful protest than the attempted murder of kids. The Irish leader was more upset at the Irish people than the would-be child murderer. To all those cowardly champions of Ireland who took to the streets of Dublin last night, let me say one thing. Ask your sisters, ask your friends, ask everyone you know what they fear most on our streets. They're afraid of you, afraid of your anger and your rage, afraid of your violence, your hate, and how you blame others for your problems. Yeah, call me presumptuous, but I think they might be more afraid of their kids getting stabbed in broad daylight, actually. BBC, it's not clear what caused the unrest. The mind truly boggles. The left reacted with their usual party trick of literally doing the Norm Macdonald joke. I'll tell you what I'm scared of right now. And that's why Irish men! Interestingly, no why Irish men stabbed any children yesterday, though. Meanwhile, Conor McGregor went full beast mode, asserting that Ireland was in a war and that politicians had betrayed the people in favour of mass migration. Lest we forget, Ireland is suffering through a horrendous housing shortage, which has made basic living completely unaffordable for many native Irish. And yet their government continues to import vast numbers of people. Excuse me, oh, I am a resident here. Yeah, okay, yeah. I want to know what's going on. All oh, men. All oh, men. Where's all the women and children? Why is it all men that have suddenly arrived in our village? All these fellas. Oh, man. With a further 30% population increase planned by 2040. Can you guess what the most popular boy's name was in Galway in 2022? Richard, Richard. It was not Richard. Was it? Oh, fuck. Didn't see that coming. It wasn't Richard. No, would you like to know what it was? Yeah. Right, uh, I'll, I'll let you try and answer first. I'd say there. Jack. I'd say uh, Mohammed. <laughs> You're correct. What? Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck off. It wasn't Mohammed. In Galway. Muhammad! If only you knew how bad things really are. <laughs> 
If you value what I do and you want to help support me, please visit pauljosephwatson.locals.com and either pledge a one-time donation or subscribe to join my community, get early access videos and message me directly. And exclusive live streams coming soon too. Promise. Check out the Locals link down in the description. And don't forget to take a look at the brand new website, modernity.news. That's where you'll find all my content, including exclusive articles. That's modernity.news. <laughs>